All right, good morning, everybody. It's April 30th. We are gonna attempt to plant corn today. Um, first of all, we're gonna go work a little dirt. I got my two kids with me. Uh, so what's the first thing that we're gonna do before we start this tractor? We're gonna make sure there's no one near it. Well, that's that's a good yes absolutely but we're gonna check the oil you want to check the oil sure. it's a good habit to get into so we gotta check the oil right here oh uh, that's close right the next one okay get in there so we unscrew it might be a little tight for you i got it yeah. okay you unscrew it just pull it out there's oil on the stick it's right to the full mark right mm -hmm. so what are we looking for um to like um like black well, we, yeah, we want to make sure it's oil. We want to make sure it's not milky because that means there's a head gasket gone. That's the biggest thing you're looking for when you start the tractor. So, and there's oil in it. All right, let's get this day going. <sighs> okay, here we go. Acres knocked out, and then we'll get to the planter. So the cultivator is away. I did a nice job. This is this farm here is sand. That's why we can get on her nice and it is early. So that's that's good. There's there's not a whole lot fit, so that's why we're not going great guns. Uh, Owen will be here in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to get the fertilizer wagon out. I'm going to go weigh it. Then we can fill the corn planter. I'm gonna weigh it again, just to double check to see uh, how much is in the planter. And then I can go plant, and I can figure out how many acres that should cover. And then I just wanna double check that rate, especially with fertilizer being expensive, I wanna be 100% this year. So let's get that out, then we'll get the planter out, and we'll get things going. Gas on. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever showed you a scale house before. Now these are an old set of scales obviously. But you know what's not nice? So you don't have to worry about mice chewing the wires. Okay, so we get 23,600 and 70 pounds. Now we'll go fill the corn planter with the fertilizer. We'll come back, weigh it, and we'll see how much the corn planter holds. It is time. Okay, we're just sitting in the field here. I'm just doing some math before we drop it. So with what the planter holds, we should be able to do 30 acres of with urea. So uh, hopefully that's what we figure out by the end of this video that we are spot on. So I'm just going to make a couple strips before we start getting into it because it's the very first time of the season. I need to be paying attention. Hey, okay, Owen's finally here. Rocking and rolling. Um, so I had a little bit of an issue with the monitor, but I got that figured out. Wasn't a big deal. And okay, I got a turn. We'll come back. Okay, we are into the no-till field for uh, at this point in time. 
the other, once Rolly gets here, we'll start doing the test plot. Probably gonna go into the depth and everything until we get to the test plot. We'll check it there. I've already checked it here, but you don't need to see it. There's a little bit of screwing around, but all in all, I'm pretty happy. We just refilled the liquid tanks uh, because we're not quite out of dry fertilizer. I want to go the full full 30 acres to make sure that runs out appropriately. And then, you know, then I have math. Okay, I have 30 acres left. I'll just fill up because I want to be empty at the end of every field type deal. So anyways, uh, up next will be the test plot. Just about out of fertilizer and I'm within an acre so there's enough in the box to do I don't even see that. there's enough in the box there to do the, so that's what we want so we're gonna go ahead and put fertilizer in because we got the test plot guys here right now and we don't need to be putting fertilizer in midway through keep everything uh, happening okay no one's bringing the fertilizer wagon we gotta watch my boys because they're on the four wheelers and dirt bikes it's a little bit busy but that's okay all right Evenly distributed. Okay, we'll go make a round. Okay, so we've started the test plot. PJ and Carter are both with me. So I can type in, this is called Field View, it's the uh, app that I use. 
to help uh, manage my farms. And so I can type in the hybrids that I'm using. You can see I'm planting one variety and the other half of the plant is the other variety. So it's quite handy. And so we'll get back into it once we get more varieties. You'll see all the different colors. Uh, there is another app that I've been approached to use. Uh, and I will try to use it as the season goes on, but I need to start with something that I know and then I'll see if I can use something that I don't know to compare with. So stay tuned. Um, you know who you are. I'm, I'm thinking about you. Listen, in case you haven't noticed, it's going to be a pioneer test plot. So uh, they've also gave me all the shirts and the hats to wear. So that's quite nice of them. So thanks Pioneer. Actually, I should say thank to Rolly McAlpine, who is the seed dealer for Pioneer, because he is actually the one who gave me all the shirts. So now that we're at the other end, they got to suck all the seed out of the box, which there's a whole lot left. So put more seed in. What do we got? Six varieties? Seven. Seven varieties. So we'll, uh, and then they're giving me two extra bags of a different variety to try out. And well, that, this will finish the field, I imagine. So, we'll keep plugging away. Okay, so you can see all my different varieties across the field. So that's gonna work out nice. Rainbow. Yes, it looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? No one's just one. Yeah. So that, uh, when we take the combine, you'll be able to see every swipe and every variety that we're in, because we have a six row head. So six rows, six rows, you know what I mean, so. That's gonna work out quite nice. And uh, there's some chicken. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna end this video. What do you guys say? Uh, say goodbye to everybody? Bye and like and subscribe. All right. Bye, like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Peace.